Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and today we begin the annual week of prayer for Christian unity, a custom that goes back over a century. Every year, Christian churches in a different country are asked to prepare materials to help us all pray for full unity among Jesus' followers. This year, the Catholic, Protestant, and Orthodox churches in Latvia were chosen. Latvia is one of the Baltic states, a small country at the crossroads of these various Christian denominations, and a country that gained its independence in 1991 when the Soviet Union collapsed. There is a museum in Latvia that lists the names of the various Christians who were killed as the communists tried to create an atheistic state. Before being killed, they weren't asked what denomination they belonged to. They were killed because they were Christian. And this is something that Pope Francis has called an ecumenism of blood, of martyrdom. The theme for this year's week of prayer is from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. I couldn't help thinking that the mighty acts of God in Latvia involved the collapse of the Soviet Union, something that I'm convinced was brought about by prayer, especially the rosary. God wants to perform mighty acts, but he wants to use us to do so. Let's pray and commit ourselves to working for Christian unity, surely a mighty act that is certainly on par with the end of communism in Eastern Europe.